Bom dia, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, guys. Wherever you are, whenever you're watching this video on the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, it's very early. Maybe you can even get a peek of this beautiful sunrise here in uh, Portugal, Lagos, because that is where we are with the Bitcoin Family after going all into Bitcoin four years ago. And yes, guys, of course, today mainly talking about Bitcoin because Bitcoin is around 13,800 US dollar which is massive. Are we going to break the 14K? I will give my opinion in this video by showing you some really cool charts. Also talking about the Litecoin chart because if you look on the weekly, I can see something really cool happening on the Litecoin chart. And then the blockchain slash news part guys today talking about how this really cool blockchain music platform is changing the whole music industry to the benefit of the artist. And that is really cool because I love music. I love that artists create music and I think that these artists should accordingly be paid for their music. First, starting with the family part. So enjoy today's video guys. There's a life I lead in this ah, city We are just too late guys It's too cloudy today I can take so You I cannot see the sun anymore by. It took me like 5 minutes Doesn't to walk from my apartment easy. here And the sun is behind the clouds Still a very beautiful view Somewhere Beautiful colors But I think I need to get up a little bit more early You know the winter time that killed me Because the sunrise is now around 6.15 Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I've been. I just feel like drawing a huge oh, kick ass B on the beach. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Put me together. Take me back where oh, I've been. Bombia! Bomb Bitcoin Dia! I want it all. This is a bomb Bitcoin Dia! But the feeling is all gone. So, finished making the B. I know it's not a perfect B, guys, but it's the Bitcoin B. You know, all the people that now walk the beach this morning will see the B and will be like, what is this? A B on the beach? We're aliens? Yes, we're aliens from another planet. Created Bitcoin for us. And that's going to change the whole monetary system. I should write that text down below it. Ah, let's skip it. Let's skip it. <laughs> let's go to the family part. The family part, guys, we are doing awesome. Uh, we love Portugal. Uh, I, can I can repeat this every time again, but we just love Portugal. Yesterday, we went with Jessa and we met some friends that are living in Portugal already for some longer. And we went to a skate park, then we went to a playground, and then we went to a beach, really cool beach with beautiful cliffs again. And then we drove again to another part, Al Jazeera where we could be heading for next because there's a lot of cool people living in this area like Copangan feeling for 10 in Portugal it's a little bit farther from the sea so it's a little bit inland so it's like not kind of my vibe normally I will keep you up to date about how we will decide as a family will we live as a family in a city life in a beautiful apartment on the seaside or will we choose the countryside what would you choose knowing what is going to happen in the next couple of months during this flu season and all the stuff that's upcoming let me know in the comment below guys hopefully you really enjoyed the free giveaway i gave yesterday and yes i pre-announced this giveaway in the family channel so all the people that huddled the family tokens now already had the first example of how they want to reward you for being a true supporter of the bitcoin family in the whole inclusive view we are one huge bitcoin family and if you are a supporter of this bitcoin family you hold some family tokens and you can get these family tokens for free by just watching our videos and by watching the videos you will find qr codes and if you scan the qr code you have some free family token and you can enjoy all these advantages of being a proud hodler owner of the bitcoin family token so check this video because in this video as well a qr code is hidden you can earn some family tokens again and yes guys filming here today because yesterday 
or the day before yesterday because yesterday I didn't create a film sorry 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 but it was a busy day Bitcoin was making all kinds of weird jumps so I need to keep my eye on the charts while I was spending all this time with Jessa at the playground that sometimes it's not like really comfortable <laughs> like the wife is like oh my god Didi please don't watch your telephone at the moment and I'm like I need to watch it you know Bitcoin is going up we can make some profit by trading I need to trade now I didn't know that Bitcoin was going to make a one and a half K candle in that day we will make a daddy day we will go to the beach and do all kind of cool stuff and then Bitcoin of course on that day when I need to drive like two hours and all that stuff decides to start to run so then you need to improvise and then I take my phone all the moments that Jess is swinging swing or doing all the climbing stuff or climbing the rocks and then I start to trade you know <laughs> and, I, and I made a little bit yesterday but I could have made way more if I was just focusing on the charts so that's the difference between an investor like me who's in it for the long term or a day trader who experiences this feeling every day you know he can't leave the charts and for me as an investor I can leave the charts and sometimes when I see these volatile movements in Bitcoin I just play the charts like a game you know if I can make $500 yesterday in uh, those two hours that I on and off trade a little bit with Bitcoin I go long and short and long and short a little bit uh, I'm a very happy man where can you earn $500 during a day just by walking the beach with your kids and playing your iPhone I think it's really cool but again it's a huge risk if you play that game in that way for me the biggest part is hodling investor and just waiting for the end of this huge bull run exchange it into a stable currency and then buy back cheaper I buy back the huge swings you know so up sell at the top buy back in the dip let's jump into the Bitcoin part guys it's BAM of course first starting guys with a Bitcoin chart because you want to know what's going to happen now so let's start with this chart BAM this is a weak chart yes I start with a zoomed out chart because this weak chart shows you that the next resistance level is around 13,875 US dollar if you look to the left on the chart that way you can see what happened the last time on this weekly chart every candle is a week what happened the last time when we try to break the resistance level of 13,875 US dollar after we tested that level we saw a huge drop to 10k I think that was the first drop in the week that's 3,000 US dollar that's a 30% drop this is normal in Bitcoin we can see 200% runs and we can see 30 to 40% drops this happens all the time in a bull run so be aware this weekly chart is showing you what happened the last time when we tried to reach this level you can see in the order book that a lot of people are ready to sell Bitcoin around 14,000 US dollar and if we have enough power of buying all these Bitcoins up that are now being sold around 40k then we can even push it through to 16k in one go but if that is not the case then yes I expect around 14k we will see a minor pullback we won't see the big pullback we saw the last time because I do think the market is way more bullish at that point we were really in a bear market now the market is more bullish so I do think 14k we could drop to maybe 13,200 and if we don't hold that support maybe even to 12,500 and e and oh, and that was all I almost fell now to the floor <laughs> and even if we drop to 11,500 guys I am still not freaking out because we are still in an uptrend because we created a higher high and we created a higher low so you're moving in this channel upwards so even if we drop all the way to 11,500 I'm not freaking out I'm still a happy man I'm still expecting Bitcoin to go higher and higher and higher and I don't think that I am the only one that expects this Bitcoin price going higher and higher and higher because two days ago we saw the largest Bitcoin transaction ever when it comes to the dollar value 1.15 billion dollar moved on the market in one single transaction and the cost of that single transaction was $3.58 this is in total 88,857 bitcoins that were moved that's a huge shift of value for that single small fee of $3.57 it already cost 5 to 10 to 15 dollar even if I want to send 100 dollar 
with Western Union. Can you imagine how much it would cost if you send this kind of money with Western Union? It's not a competition anymore. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are going to destroy this whole money sending industry. You know, it's like, who is going to use Western Union or who is going to use all these other possibilities if you can send cheapest with crypto? Nobody anymore in the future. Everybody will start to trust it and will start to use Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. And yes, in dollar value, it was the largest move ever, but it wasn't the largest move when it comes to Bitcoins because the amount of Bitcoin was 88,857 Bitcoins and the largest Bitcoin transactions when it comes to the Bitcoin amount was 550,000 Bitcoins. And that was in November 2016 and it all had to do with Mt. Gox. So the biggest, the biggest transaction in Bitcoin was 550,000 bitcoins and the biggest transaction in dollar was two days ago so that was 1.1 billion US dollar worth of bitcoin and I think also the whales are agreeing with me because we now have officially 2,231 bitcoin addresses that hold more than 1,000 bitcoins so that's like 2,230 bitcoin whales out there at least that is what this chart is showing you BAM so to be clear to belong to the bitcoin whale club you must have uh, you must own about 13 million US dollar worth of Bitcoin at the moment soon maybe 14 million dollar worth of Bitcoin to be a whale let's see where Bitcoin will go but that means that 2.23 million Bitcoins are controlled by the Bitcoin whales at the moment which is about 12 percent of the total Bitcoin stack but there is another chart that's telling us na 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 it's way higher I like 42 percent is controlled by the whales and you can see this on this chart BAM! Because on this chart and in the table uh, with it, you can see that the whales control about 7.9 million bitcoins of the total bitcoin hodl stack. And that is about 42% instead of the 12%. And how did they calculate it? If you look at the table, you can see, so if you start with 100% and then you calculate it all through, then at the end, you have about 7.9 million bitcoins left which is 42% of the total Bitcoins out there at the moment that are controlled by entities owning more than 1000 Bitcoins. And why can it be such a huge difference between these two calculations, 12% or like 42%, that's very easy explainable because, that, because one calculation is just calculating addresses, one single address that holds 1000 Bitcoins or more, and the other calculation calculates all the other possibilities as well because it's also possible guys that multiple addresses are owned by one single guy and if you combine these multiple addresses he also is hodling thousand bitcoins so in the second situation it's also considering that multiple addresses can be owned by one person or that one single address is owned by multiple entities two different kinds of calculation but both of them saying huge huge amount of whales in the industry controlling the bitcoin supply and also guys when we take a look at this chart bam this is the volatility chart on this volatility chart the red line on the bottom of the chart going this way that one this chart is showing you guys that the volatility has become smaller yes in 2013 it was huge red peak and in 2016 peak and in 2017-18 the peak became smaller and in 2019 you know the 14k run the peak also became smaller and now what can we expect now are we going to see a smaller peak again in this volatility does this mean that bitcoin is not volatile anymore yes of course bitcoin is volatile we could see yesterday but we are losing volatility the more years bitcoin will exist the less volatile it will be because if you compare bitcoin to other assets which you can see on this chart bam you can even see that bitcoin is less volatile than the u.s real estate market than, than the u.s currency market than the gold market and many other of these assets you can see that the volatility of the other lines you can see in the chart you see many jars and you see the bitcoin line on top the bitcoin line is going flat it's flattening it's like flattening like the thing they are talking about with the flu flattening the curve the bitcoin curve is flattening <laughs> but the other curves they are they are going like this now so bitcoin is less volatile than all the other assets which is really cool for these people that now want to step into the market you know these institutional investors because they want to keep playing a little bit safe and to play it safe they want to have something that is less volatile so now maybe they can enter bitcoin or like you saw grayscale and all the other ones already entered bitcoin with 550,000 bitcoins 
So they made more profit, I think, with just buying Bitcoins and holding and even like trading Bitcoins than they made with the normal company's activities. Tomorrow, guys, I will bring you um, to another very beautiful beach because I read about it and I think you already saw it, but I didn't know how to get there because I think it's a climb. So tomorrow I will go there with you. Maybe tomorrow, I guess I can add Jolie, Juna, Ajessa, all men to the video. Uh, they weren't up this early at six this morning and I really need to make this video early because guys, I do want to watch the charts today a little bit. And yes, if you want to trade, then Welcome take a look at Prime, Prime XBT. XBT. Like I said many more times, do sign up using my referral link because if you use my referral link, you get a 50% deposit bonus. So please, check down below in the comments the pinned comment or in the description of the video click on the prime xbt link sign up and then claim your bonus using bitcoin family as a code and the copy trading is really taking off guys there is one guy he's called number one he made about 2200 percent in the last two weeks with copy trading on prime xbt guys let's take a look at another bitcoin chart guys this one bam this is a one day chart on this one day chart, you can see this trader is expecting that we go to 13,600, 13,800, maybe even to 14,100. Then we reach this green box, but then he is expecting we will fall back with 2K all the way to 11,600 US dollar, which in my opinion is still positive, like I already said before in this video, because we would still be in an uptrend. We already created a higher high. And then we will already and then again we will create a higher low so in this chart huge drop first 13,800 bam drop 2k to 11,600 so you can make 2k by selling there and buying back down there <laughs> i wish it was that easy every day and then we have another chart this one guys bam on this chart this is a monthly chart we're zooming out a little bit this monthly chart is going to close this week and at the close of this month already said in yesterday's video is falling together with a blue moon with halloween with um, the expiry of options and also of the open interest so all these events taking place at the closing of this monthly candle and if we are able to close this monthly candle above 13,000 US dollar oh my god then I can only foresee a huge huge bull run ahead in the next coming 12 to 16 months guys because if we are able to close a higher monthly candle than we have in the last three years that is like really really bullish in my opinion and to mingle up a little bit because I think it's a really cool moment now to start to buy Litecoin and why do I think you need to start to buy Litecoin at the moment because of this chart check it BAM on this Litecoin chart guys you can see this huge downward trend line that we also saw on the Bitcoin chart for a few weeks ago and then you can see Litecoin just broke this downward trend line and even retested this trend line and mostly when we break a trend line to the upside and then retest it to the downside and we huddle the level of this trend line then we will see a massive move upwards and the massive move upwards for litecoin could mean that we go from 55 57 euros dollar per litecoin bam back to 80 dollar per litecoin where we were before this huge drop in march so that would be a huge run in litecoin together with all the massive news they have coming out this year and the mimble wimble and everything else they're talking about i think litecoin could be a really cool moment to invest at the moment because if you invest as a long-term holder this is the bottom breaking the trend line retesting the trend line positive going up again in my opinion litecoin is going to go back to the 80 dollar where it was before that we had a huge crash in march so litecoin really cool chart and that brings me guys to the blockchain and this news part of this video so let's jump into that part bam try and keep the video a little bit short because i've been talking too much again because i was in a talking talking morning talking morning i didn't even have that much coffee i only had one cup of coffee and i'm already talking this much ha ah, romain will be happy when i'm home she doesn't like a talking guy in the morning she likes to quietly start up I always start running directly but in the blockchain slash news part i want to talk to you guys about one thing and that thing is called audio i'm not referring to audio the sound you're listening to yeah kind of am but i'm referring to the token that's called audio because audio is a really cool blockchain music platform that is going to disturb the whole kind of not very honest music industry for the artist because the music of artists is being played, for example, on Spotify. 
and the artist is accordingly being paid by Spotify for the amount of times that the music that he created is streamed on Spotify. But the artist doesn't have complete insights into who is listening to his music. Um, is it true what Spotify is telling me? Is this, mu is this song really played 100,000 times this month? Um, so he doesn't have any clue, he just sees his number and money that is coming in. But he doesn't have a clue about if Spotify is really honest about the amount of times that this track is being played. This and many other disadvantages of this centralized music industry is now going to be decentralized on the blockchain. They are now saying, nah, it needs to be honest. When an artist creates music, he needs to deserve a huge cut out of the music and by creating a token audio and a whole platform behind it now musicians can launch their music on audio and be incentivized by the listeners itself how do you launch in a big way because they gave away 15 million dollar worth of audio tokens to artists and to their fans so that's a huge start of the token 50 million dollar worth giveaway to artists and fans i think it's a bam start of this new platform because guys it's a 43 billion us dollar industry of which now 12 percent only goes to the artist and audio is changing this tremendously so really cool for the artists and i think all these artists will go support audio and you know if all these famous people with millions of followers on social media are supporting a project i can only see a very positive future for that project because we are all influenced by social media as you can see on the social dilemma documentary or i saw yesterday again one oh yeah the great hack both of these documentaries the great hack and the social dilemma great watch if you want to see how big the influence is of social media on us and that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy today's video give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment as i love to reply to your comments and always remember guys to zoom out in crypto, to zoom in at life, try to enjoy life every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life is all about. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Zooming out to my beautiful Bitcoin Prime Machina.